Hey y'all, and welcome back. Uh, thank y'all for coming back. Uh, we have Thirst Trap 101. It's episode four, Image Selection, part B. My name is Ryan Lindsay, and this is my YouTube series, Thirst Trap 101. I'm glad y'all are with me for another episode of Thirst Trap 101. Just one little uh, housekeeping detail um, as I get the episode started. Uh, my brand launched a couple days ago, and so my website is, is now out there. I'm so proud of it. I hope you guys have been enjoying it. I, I'm very proud of the, the blogs. I'm, I'm, I love how it's, it's organized. So uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about my, my website and, and the brand launch. Um, but with the website being live, uh, I'm now gonna have to start out my YouTube episodes with a, a little bit of a, a teaser for, for some merch, okay? And so I, I'm, gonna need, I'm gonna need you to check this out. All right, so so that's hot. Y'all y'all got to get that. Y'all got to go to seersuckerstud.com, hit the store, and then you got to get that tank top. Summer 2021 is coming. Your wax, your wax, and people are going to be having some pool parties. Fingers crossed. We're getting back in a, a better place in this country. Get your vaccinations and get your tank top and get ready to be hot at these summer pool parties. Okay, get that tank top now. Episode four, here we go. We're gonna start out with our guiding principle on image selection. Just a general rule that you can remember for the entirety of your thirst trap life. Um, in terms of image selection, I've got, I've got two, two good ones. They both start with a B uh, as things that are generally successful. Uh, and it, they both start with a B. We're gonna talk about those two. Um, we are going to have to discuss the community guidelines. Um, these, there's very strong opinions about these. I, sh I share them, uh, but that they exist on Instagram, and so we're going to we're going to need to talk about them on on today's episode. Um, human alternatives. Uh, that sounds very scientific, but what I'm saying is, um, should you have photos on your thirst trap page? that are not your sexy body. Um, well, spoiler alert, I, I'm gonna give you three uh, possible options of, of some things that I think are proven uh, good ideas. And then finally, to, to wrap our episode, uh, some things to avoid when you are considering which photographs to post um, on your thirst trap page. Now, let's kick it off. The, the guiding principle uh, for your thirst trap page success. Um, I was having a good time thinking about this episode and, and as I thought about it, I kind of went back to being in college and um, I, was, I was an economics major at the University of South Carolina. Go, go Gamecocks, go Cox. Um, I, I love econ, I love those, those graphs, supply and demand and the whole thing. And so what this is called is actually, it's an inverse relationship. And so what that means in the thirst trap context is the more clothes you are wearing, the less likes you will receive. Does that make sense? Let me say it another way. You're gonna get more likes if you're wearing less clothes. Okay, that sounds super simple. It's an inverse relationship. You're gonna to have to be careful about it. We're gonna to get to that with the community guidelines, but you hear what I'm saying? That's, that is the guiding principle. Less clothes, more likes. You got me. Okay, the two Bs. Um, there's lots of things. I, in prior episodes, I've talked about different looks, this and that, the diversity of the images, all of that. Um, I think adds to proven success uh, for your thirst trap page, but there's two that are that are very important and, and proven to work. They both start with a B. The first one is, is kind of my favorite. 
and it's the butt. I, I like a butt. I like, I like a butt. A lot of guys like butts. A lot of women like butts. I mean, don't, you know, you want as big audiences as, as, as possible. Um, it's attractive, that rear end. It gets a lot of likes. Uh, it's an element if you if you pose it properly that that is a little risque and has some some semi nudity but can still abide by the community guidelines and so if if you're kind of really thinking about going for the win you might want to consider having your butts in in your images uh, next thing um, other other side now of course you cannot have um, frontal nudity. Um, but kind of the next best thing here, also starts with a B, is the bulge. All right, so so you can't show, show your stuff, okay? That 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 is what it is on, on Instagram. So you're gonna be in briefs or or a, a sexy jock strap and. Um, there's if you if your followers can see a little bit of a something in there a little bulge they're gonna get excited in fact if it's kind of a large bulge they're gonna get more excited larger the bulge more the likes that's another relationship <laughs> we could have another episode about but you see what i'm saying you know you can't show frontal so if you show a little bulge and it's still abide by the guidelines your, you're gonna, your comments are gonna load up with the eggplant. Eggplant, 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 fire, fire. Uh, the bulge is very popular. So, butt in bulge, can't go wrong. Okay, and now we're gonna talk about the community guidelines, y'all. Um, I have opinions about them and here they are. I'm, I don't like them. Uh, I'm, an, I'm an attorney. I do not like censorship. I think they are imposed arbitrarily. I think they are imposed unfairly, uh, and I also think they are prejudiced against the queer community of, what, of which I am a very proud member. Um, but they exist, y'all. We have to abide by them. Uh, if you do not like them that much, you might just want to consider another platform, and, and they're out there, but in terms of this Instagram game and having a successful thirst trap page there, you do have to abide by the community guidelines. Now, I'm just gonna kinda put them up here, and, and so you can see a visual, but you do need to, um, on Instagram, you can find them, or you can just, just search for them, familiarize yourself with the community guidelines and abide by them. Now, once you know the rules, you know the rules and if you're looking at a picture and you know it's smoking hot but you think it's going to violate the community guidelines don't do it just do not do it use another photo photograph it's not worth it your page can be deleted if it's too risky or violates the rules and so my analogy here when I was planning the episode took me back even further. Uh, when I was a young person, that's, you know, a very long time ago. Um, when I was a teenager, I used to do something very bad. And that was, uh, I smoked a lot of cigarettes. And uh, I love to smoke cigarettes. And I, I did that because I thought they made me more popular. Well, maybe, but they're really, really bad for you. They'll kill you. And so even though your super, super sexy photograph might be very popular, it might kill your thirst trap page. You see what I'm saying? So resist the temptation. I know it's very tempting. If there was a cigarette here right now, I might be sniffing or whatever, but I'm not gonna smoke it uh, because it's bad for you um, and can kill you. Uh, so next thing, um, human alternatives. Now. To begin with, if y'all are familiar with my um, Instagram page, Seersucker Stud, that's Seersucker dot Stud, um, you can see that I'm a little bit of a, a thirst trap purist. Um, I mean, 97% plus of my page is sexy, sexy photographs of me in various states of uh, undress, but. 
Um, I have other platforms that I like to use to share photos of my cats, um, tell people about my political beliefs and, and advocacy. That's just how I choose, choose to do it. Um, for many of y'all, um, and some folks, Instagram is their only, only platform. And so should you have a little bit of a well-rounded component to your page? I, my vote is absolutely yes. And I also do believe that when you have a platform of any, of any size, you, you have also an obligation to um, spread positive messages to um, improve um, the world around us. So let me give you kind of three tips on types of images that I know are proven to be successful. Number one, I lo love seeing these, everybody loves them, is the dog. Y'all, do you, do you have a dog? Does your roommate have a dog? Does your mom have a dog? Get the dog and put the dog on your Instagram page. Everybody loves dogs. I love dogs, they're so cute. You know, maybe maybe you should be without a shirt like holding a dog. Like that's, that's, that's adorable. Like go for it, it's gonna, it's gonna be very popular. So my first uh, tip uh, is, is consider a dog. My next one is another one of my favorite things, food. So um, I obviously have not eaten anything since 2017, uh, teasing. Um, I love food. Um, I, the thing is about food, you know what, if you wanna show your meal prep, that's great. And you're an advocate for, for fitness and, and healthy living, that's wonderful. But you know what the food pictures are that really do it for me? A large Domino's pizza. That's what I'm talking about. You know what, these sexy guys, it's kinda like they've, they got it all, all right? They got, a, they got a sexy body and they're eating a big piece of pepperoni pizza. I mean, I wanna eat the whole photograph that's so hot. So think about, it's kinda like, having your cake and eat, hold, hold some cake, you know, like cake's delicious, sexy body, have some cake, food, people love food, and I think they kind of also love it when it's a sexy guy and there's a, there's a difference and a dichotomy between this sexy man and some junky food. I'm a fan of that. Um, finally, a social justice issue. I alluded to this earlier when I when I came into this this line item, but I do believe if you have any sort of a platform, um, you should use that wisely and um, positively for the for the betterment of everyone. And like I mentioned, I don't really do so much of that on, on my Instagram. I I, I definitely do. Um, um, the the verdict just came down in the Chauvin case, and I I celebrated. Um, some justice, um, a, a very small step towards um, justice. And I believe that's important. Um, and I believe people connect with that. It shows your passion. So encourage voting and encourage political activism. I do think that is smart if it's what you believe in and, and you're being authentic. So. Um, those three things, I mean, if you were looking really hot and you were holding a Datsun and eating a burrito and you were at the women's bar, like you're, you just broke Instagram, okay? So I just think those are three things that tend to work, but there are plenty of other exceptions. Be authentic, be yourself. I do think one thing is, Nothing really qualifies your page as being a thirst trap page. If you've got some thirsty pictures in there, okay. I don't think there's a percentage one way or the other, but I do my personal thing. I like it to be about half or more than half. I think that's a well-rounded, sort of dedicated, shows that you're into this situation. If more than half or half of your photos on your thirst trap page are your sexy body thirsty, photographs. Um, 
Finally, uh, last line item, things to avoid um, with your photographs. Um, number one, I don't like it in, in life in general, clutter. So, so make just sure the, that things around you are, are cleared off. Like, like a good example of, of is one, let's say I'm in the kitchen, I've got a sexy apron on, okay? Uh, I've done a lot of those, I love, I love those. Uh, but if you look at those, um, there's nothing really on the countertops. There's not salt and pepper shakers, there's not spatulas, you know, blah, blah, blah. There, maybe there's like a cool retro looking mixer or something that does add to a cool vibe of that kitchen photograph. But the, the, the rule here or the goal is the focus needs to be on you, on your body. And so clear out the clutter, move away the electric cords and things like that. Have the focus be you and your body. Um, next thing is a blur. Now, maybe a little exception, there can be a blur that shows some form of artistry that looks, looks very cool, but for the most part, you want photographs on your thirst trap page that are crisp and clear. Um, so make sure they're, they're not blurry or just um, not, good, not good photographs. You know, you wanna, you wanna see that definition. Like, you, you've done a lot of crunches for that, baby. So make sure your photographs are crisp and clear and that they're not blurry. Um, one more thing to avoid is repeating. People love fresh content, y'all. You know, so don't ever reshare the same image. Are there exceptions to this? Of course, sometimes, you know, I did a really cool thing. 2020 was my first year of, of sharing on, on Instagram. And so I have year end, I had a countdown. I really wanted to honor all of my photographers. And so each day towards the um, countdown to the new year, I shared what I consider to be my favorite photograph from all of those photo shoots. And those, of course, had all been posted at some point um, previously during the year, but that's an exception. I was honoring the photographer. It was especially a sexy photograph. But for the most part, your followers, they like fresh. They like new. They don't want to see things that they've seen before. So avoid the repeats, you guys. And, and that's it. That's it. That's it. We've devoted two full, wonderful episodes on image selection. I hope you all have learned a lot. And I also really hope that you have as much fun with this process as I do. I enjoy so many things. I love, I love the, the modeling. I love interacting with you guys, but I love the image selection and I hope you do too. Now, let me give you a little sneak peek uh, about episode five uh, that's coming up. Uh, but you know, you know, you know, I got to do something before that. Y'all, please subscribe. Sub subscribe to my YouTube, Seersucker Stud, Thirst Trap 101. Subscribe to my YouTube. Please tell your friends, tell your family, tell your colleagues, text your everybody. Um, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you. I appreciate it, y'all. Thank you. Subscribe. Okay, so episode five. Um, we're rounding out everything, and the next thing we're going to talk about is the captions and what goes on underneath those images. I love to write. I like this. I, I, I get. I put a lot of thought into it. I also understand that it might not be your favorite thing. You might like the artistry of the posing and the images, and you kind of feel like it's a little bit of a drag to have to think of a, a caption or, or how to do that. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna provide you with the tools uh, to have very successful um, captions that add to those sexy photographs of yours. So y'all are gonna want to definitely come back for episode five, Thirst Trap 101. It's gonna be on captions.